Hi there everybody, it is a Russian man who brings value through my own experiences and it is Joe James Nugent. It is first my ever try to see his uh, stand-up comedy. I want to improve my English and, and my goal to move to America or another English-speaking country. And I want to improve my English to understand really pretty well uh, natives. And I want to be a native too, I want to make my English better. And if you want to continue watching my videos, videos about my journey you can join to me by clicking like button and subscribing to I will really appreciate it thank you let's go dive into our uh, video about Jim Jefferies Jim Jefferies it is uh, I learned information some information that he is actor uh, writer also stand-up comedian from Australia and America like an Australian com American comedian let's watch it it will be really interesting to learn his style because I know Bill Burr, I know D Dave Chappelle, George uh, Carlin, also Louis C.K. I learned it on this channel, I have never heard about it before. And uh, it is our G Jim Jefferies, maybe we'll learn something about him. Maybe I will understand jokes, maybe I will not. I hope that uh, we have subtitles auto-generated and uh, I will try to understand. And uh, in the final of this video, I will try to explain what have I learned, okay? I became an atheist uh, when I was 15 years old. I, I remember there was an exact moment. I was digging a hole with a stick. And I... <laughs> <laughs> nice uh, start of the joke. It's kind of, oh, yes, I became a theist and after that need to create absurdism. Funny, digging hole. Now, if you've just recently become an atheist, try to be cool about it, right? Because especially in this country, people use atheism almost like its own religion, right? Because when you become an atheist, you're very angry because you, you've been fed so many lies that you become angry, right? So try to be what I call a good atheist. I used to be a bad atheist, right? I, I like, for example, I didn't go to a friend's wedding once because it was in a church because I wouldn't set foot in a church, right? And then, like... I couldn't go to parties because I always end up in a corner with a Christian going, you're a fucking idiot, right? <laughs> and that's no way to live your life, you know? So you know what? You've got to live and let live in this world. Have the magic man. Don't have the magic man. It is kind of uh, George Carlin style, like a one creature that uh, that created uh, some of the ten rules uh, because it is marketing and uh, yes, it's kind of George Carlin style right now. I don't give a fuck. And since I have this new sunny disposition, <laughs> my life's really turned around. I new sunny disposition. Disposition is it moving? got more friends, I tolerate others, I'm now godfather of the three children and that's retarded. Retarded. What is it? Because these people know me and they still fucking ask. They still come up and go, Jim, will you be the child's godfather? And I'm like, <laughs> yes. And after that will be a kind of uh, <laughs> kind of impression of Godfather. I make them offer they can't uh, kind of cancel it. And then I stand there in church with the priest and the parents and the priest is holding the baby and the priest turns to me and goes, Jim, will you spiritually guide this child throughout its life? Yes. Sure. I do. Because <laughs> I have no problems lying in church. <laughs> What difference does it make? Now, there are two reasons why babies are christened, right? There's the real reason, which is the church are trying to recruit people who can't talk. Church trying to recruit people who can't talk. Like... Interesting. Is it about that they will not say truth? About our life in a way of science? Then there's the second reason, the Bible's reason, God's reason. This is why God wants you to christen your child. Because if you don't christen your child and it dies in infancy, it doesn't get into heaven. Aww. Sorry, I want to look at so this again. Heaven, christen your child and it dies in infancy, it doesn't get into heaven. Infancy. Infancy. What is infancy? One moment. Infancy. Mini. 
no, 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 not invent. One moment. What's word? Infancy. Fancy. Sorry. Excuse me. For it. Infancy. The state of period of babyhood of early childhood. Ah. And we also have traits in our ourselves like infancy shell person. Get into heaven. Oh. So if you are religious, your God sounds like a super guy. But if he lets one dead baby into heaven, then he has to let all the dead babies into heaven. And before you know it, heaven's just filled with fucking dead babies. <laughs> so black humorous. Because uh, it is kind of funny. Like, <laughs> it is kind of Spartanians. Like, uh, you know, Spartanians, if uh, some babies are not good, they uh, they drop them like a mic on uh, from roof. And uh, it is uh, like a <laughs> this way. <laughs> and uh, this... funny. Won't be able to move for dead babies! It won't be hard to move. Yeah. Let's not act like these babies didn't know what they did. Now, it's not lost in me that when I tell a joke like that in front of this many people, then in this room, there's a good chance that there's a couple who lost their child in infancy. And I'm a comedian, I'm meant to make you laugh. And, and uh, I've just reminded you of the most horrible thing that ever happened to you. And, and for that, I am sorry. But. If you weren't smart enough to get a pedophile in a dress to put a small amount of water on the child's forehead... One moment, again. Get a pedophile you weren't smart enough to get it. ...to put a small amount of water on the child's forehead. It is... is it charged man? What the fuck did you think was gonna happen, right? As far as I'm concerned, your bad parents... And that's why God took your child away from you. <laughs> because I think we all know that God makes no mistakes. So. God makes no mistakes. Hmm. Um, God no makes no mistakes. I know this phrase from Lady Gaga song. And uh, I really, when I was watching this, uh, this comedian, this comedian, I feel kind of... Yes, it is kind of laughable in some moments, but it is so like a kind of terrific or kind of so so like a jokes with uh, when you when you walking on a so tiny tiny ice, like it can be broke in in some moments. Yes, it is kind of funny in some ways we were about childs and how he was doing kicking he, this child, but it was so like uh, so strong. Yes, uh, it is the most hardest, uh, no, toughest, toughest comedian that I ever seen in uh, all uh, foreign comedians in Russia. We don't have so like a. Uh, so strong comedians with so tough comedians we have kind of light we joke about like a politics uh, we have jokes but i don't like them by the way it's kind of david chappelle style and uh, because we have many of situations of politics in our country that uh, are not really super nice but in every country we have them but uh, about this comedy what have i just uh, have i understood I understood that uh, he spoke about uh, about church, about atheism, that he started to be athe atheist uh, when he was 15 years old, when he was digging a hole with a stick, and uh, after that uh, also about church he was uh, speaking, he was speaking about church, that in church... Uh, oh, Jesus Christ, sorry, sorry, sorry... <laughs> I want to say, sorry for my English, by the way, he said that in charge we have babies, we have babies 
in charge and they don't go to heaven. Because if they will go to heaven, then heaven will be fulfilled and overwhelmed. And it will be like a crowded with uh, child, children. And it means that we... Uh, ah, our child will not go to hell. Huh, <laughs> will not go to heaven. Maybe we'll go to hell, by the way. Okay, sorry for my English, for my vocabulary, because uh, when I don't understand fully stand-up, I don't understand fully, I can't explain it uh, in a good way. And need to improve my English, need to listen to this person more, because I can understand like a Bill Burr comedian. Bill Burr, is, uh, he is speaking about Psyche a lot. Like Dave Chappelle speaks about uh, things uh, around politics and about uh, black people. Like, uh, who is more? We have also Jim, Jim, no, Jim, Jim, uh, George, no, 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 Th this person from English, from England, who speaks about uh, sexual things and about girls a lot. I forgot his name, Jimmy Carr, Jimmy Carr, yes. And George Carlin, he speaks about life and philosophy of life and always so like speaking and uh, numerosing things in our life. It's a style of joking. And his and this comedy, it is kind of another way and need to learn it more, need to understand it better. And then I will be fluent is in his English because every person in our life has different English styles and English comedy. It is different language that we speak of English. And uh, the more we listen, the better we become. It is uh, like uh, learning Matilda, uh, reading Matilda, and after that reading maybe Harry Potter. It is two different languages. Matilda, it is about like a childrenish uh, language of absurdism, and uh, fantasy, it is about Harry Potter. Okay, I hope you understand me. And uh, it is about everything in our life. Please learn stuff, learn from different sources and uh, do analysis of it. Why do I speak finally, like in the end of my video, about uh, what have I comprehended? Because if I can retell it, then I understood it and I can make it, I can share it f through my prism, okay? Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please click like like button, leave in the comment section below what do you think about this video. Was it hilarious and what kind of videos you recommend more to watch? And uh, have a wonderful day. Improve yourself daily. You can do anything in your life. I hope in it. I believe in you. Bye-bye. I love you.